We've got a 20-year-old French striker in the Premier League. Let's see how he can do. This is Jorginho Rudder. I, I'm French, I apologize. But he's 20 years old, sitting in Leeds right now. 25 million to 74 million, 60K per week. Uh, he is a squad player. Now, he has negative eight and a half potential. As usual, that means there's a range when you start your, your save that he could be in. Uh, it doesn't give you a permanent potential ability just yet, but once you start your save, that's when you get your permanent ability in the save itself. In this save, I have looked, it is 160. So we'll see what he can reach, but 160 is pretty darn nice for a lot of Premier League teams and below, uh, a lot of Span Spanish teams below. So we'll see how he does in the next 10 years, but overall, he's looking pretty nice. As a striker, dribbling a 15, first touch of, 11, of 13, finishing of 11 is not the greatest. I really want to see that come up. But 15 technique, 16 flair, he's got some fantastic numbers, uh, you know, acceleration and pace through, through the roof. But again, I just want to see where he ends up in 10 years, uh, and that will be kind of the big, big ticket items. But he's made a senior club debut already, Championnat National, under-19 winners. Uh, so he's got a couple of career milestones already. But 10 years time, you can see he's probably more familiar to soccer fans in France than England. Again, squad player as a Leeds player. Uh, he does need to grow, and if he gets to that 160, he's probably not going to be at Leeds much longer. But let's skip ahead 10 years, and we'll see what happens. So it is the end of the 2033 season, and as you can see, 31 years old, no caps, nothing, sorry, uh, but he's at Burnley, and he's made his way around. So we're going to take a look at that in a minute, but who is he wanted by? He's listed, wanted by Almeria. He looks like he's a surplus to requirements, listed for 10.75, even though it says 10 and a half right there. Fringe player, does not look like he has grown all that much. Dribbling has actually gone down, finishing has gone up by one, but that's about it. Pace has gone down by one, but again, 31 years old, so he's getting up there. But man, his stats just have not gone gone up as much as I would like, uh, if at all. I mean, down dribbling down to 13 from 15 is not great. Premier League, 30 off the bench, three goals, 6-5-4 for Burnley. Ouch. That is, I mean, he has not done well at all. So if we look at the career stats, you can see he started out with Stade Rene, went off to Hoffenheim for 425k, Bought by Leeds United for 32.5 million. I actually saw, I think it was like 16 million euro and then made its way up to like 26 or something like that. But he was there for quite a while. Did okay. Um, he played a lot of games, sort of. Uh, sort of towards the tail end, not so much, but moved off to Sevilla on loan. Back to Leeds. Bought by Burnley for 10 million. Not done well. Very few. I mean, you got Leeds right there in the championship. 7 2 2, 42 appearances, 17 goals, 7 assists. Uh, so it looks like he's kind of more the championship player, the second tier type of player. He just not is not picking it up in the Premier League or the top tiers. So there you go. If you want a championship level player, if you can pay the money, this dude is worth it, it looks like. But I do wonder, you know, at some point, 25, 26, 26, 27, he's not doing all that well. He's playing a lot of games, but could you get him for a bit cheaper? Milestones, he really doesn't have much. I mean, as you can see, Sky, but championship champion, so they were promoted after going down, came back up to the Premier League, bought by Burnley for 10 million, promotion from the Sky, but championship, and then relegation from the English under 21 Premier Division One. So uh, he sat in their under 21s for a little while, it got them relegated, unfortunately. But yeah, championship level player, not so much the Premier League. Injuries, Average. Uh, he's got a lot of moderates in his first half of the year, of his career, basically. Some slights in the second half. So uh, two majors, though, not too great. A sprained knee ligaments and dislocated shoulder, but that's kind of right there at the start of the, ma at the, start of the save. Overall, I mean, he doesn't look like he's got too much that he, you've got to worry about. Tactically used as a striker, 18 for club, three goals, 6.52 average rating. On the left side, attacking-wise, one for club, 6.70. 
Uh, he can play. I mean, he's got the versatility to play all in that attacking spot or spots. You've got all across the attacking midfield and the striker position. So he's got the versatility. He just doesn't have the the abilities, the, the numbers, the stats. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. As usual, scout him, see what he does in your save, and see what his potential could be. Negative eight and a half is a pretty high potential. Uh, 160 on the higher end of that, but not quite the highest, I don't believe. Uh, but still, I mean, I think I would say negative eight and a half, maybe up to 170-ish. I don't really know. But, you know, it, it's too bad to see his career kind of like this uh, it, instead of kind of reach the upper echelons a bit more than he did. End of the 2036 season is seemingly when he retires because he plans to retire at the end of the season uh, and he's an unemployed head coach in the 2037 season. So, but he is, where on earth is Kai, I mean, it's it's in the Turkish league, but I don't know who this, this team is, but he has found his way there. After Burnley, he went to Middlesbrough. Let's actually just take a look. Uh, eight and a half million. Wow, Burnley got a lot of money back for him. Did fairly well. Oh, again, championship. Uh, eight appearances in the Premier League, 7 10, eh, and then went to Turkey and just 21 appearances, 6 6 2. Yeah, no, it's time to retire, bud. Sorry to say. But overall, you can see him in his stats. Dribbling has gone down. How is your dribbling getting worse? Technique has gone down. Acceleration and pace are just continuing to slide down. But yeah, I mean, I'm sorry to say, it definitely looks like it is time to, to call it a career. 34 years old. Only rated 2.5 to 8K, 4.1K per week, impact sub. Milestones, not much. Uh, bought by Middlesbrough for 7 million. Uh, named in the season of S11. Skybet Championship champion. So he's, I mean, he's got a lot of promotion trophies, but then relegated back from the Premier League. Uh, released on a free, signed by Kaiserispor on a free, and then season of best 11s. Is everyone in the seasonal best 11 pretty much as long as you play? It seems that's the way the case goes. Uh, but, I mean, injury-wise, yeah, he's got a couple more. Not too much. Just a couple moderates. So. But, yeah, it, it looks like it is really time for him to call it a day. Definitely more familiar to soccer fans in England than Turkey. But any he, he's got two winner's medals. He's got Skybet Championship with Leeds and in Middlesbrough, 30 and 34. And that's really it. That's the career of Jorginho Rudder. I hope he does a lot better in your save than he did in mine. But with that negative 8.5 potential, you never know where he's going to fall into that category. Uh, yeah, unless you've got the software to figure it out. But but that is it for Jorginho Rudder. I am Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. Mm -hmm.